Alright, today I uh, caught word that the local pond over here that the Wildlife Resources Commission stocked some trout they stocked earlier this week. So we're heading over here and we're going to give it a try. We've got about probably two hours until dark. So hopefully he'll be biting good. I heard that uh, my uncle went this morning and got his limit. So I uh, went deer hunting this morning and looks like I should have went trout fishing instead. So hopefully we're gonna catch a bunch. We'll see what happens. All right, I just got here. I'm gonna try to do this without a tripod. I left that at home. So we're way back up in here in a creek. Creek mouth comes out. Got a little power bait on there. I'm gonna leave this one set and I'm gonna throw a little rapala or a rooster tail. Got just a little black anchor mark. I'm casting. Not so far. Well, we didn't kill them, but we got one. So that's all I really wanted anyway. Ended up going over to, there's a dock on that lake that they stopped. At a, there was a bunch of people on earlier today. And it was just a lot, so I didn't really get to film it much, but we got one, so that's good. That's all I really wanted, something to cook up. So, big one got away, but that's the way it goes. So I'm just gonna scale this thing up get all the fine scales off and we're gonna cook it i'm not gonna cook it whole I don't, i'm not much on head and fins myself but you could cook it whole if you wanted so we're just gonna get all these scales off and go around the fish and make sure they're all off because you know kind of ruin your meal so just gonna keep going around We've got some real fine little scales and they're kind of hard to get off. But you can use a fork. I like to just get a knife. But pretty easy fish to clean, really. It really doesn't take a lot of time to clean or cook these things. And thanks to the Wildlife Commission, we've got a whole bunch of them right around. They've stocked. In the fall or in the winter in North Carolina, they stock a lot of ponds. And if you go on the website, they'll tell you all about them. But they do it pretty much all over the state, which is pretty cool, especially when you pay all that money for your fishing license. So. I yeah, about got it. Still got a few more on there. Make sure you get all of them all around the head. And They've got some, they've stocked some really big fish. That, that one I had on was about, I hope it got it. I didn't really get a chance to look at the video, but I really hope I got it on video at least a little bit. But I'm really kicking myself in the butt because I got there. Didn't have a tripod, a GoPro, didn't have an SD card. So totally went underprepared. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. But yeah, the one I had on was a really nice one. That would have filleted that. I wouldn't have cooked it whole. But these little fish, when you fillet them, 
and get the bones out. There's really not a lot of meat left. So. But you can see, it's pretty easy to see where you've still got scales at. So, I about got them. I got that one side. All right, I think I got, no, I see a couple more now. But I think I about got it. And I'm probably not gonna show. I'm gonna go ahead, I need to get rid of the head and the guts and the tail. But I'm not exactly still learning this is about YouTube, so I'm not exactly sure what they'll let you show, so I'm not gonna show all that. But maybe later on, we'll, once I get everything figured out, what you can and can't show, because I know things have changed a lot on YouTube in the last year. And I'm just kind of getting started with it. So and play it safe. Okay. There you go. All right, so I got everything cleaned out. And inside here, you see that line right there? That's a bloodline. So you definitely pretty much want to get rid of all that. You can just run your finger down through there. Get that out. And again, I'm not exactly sure what I can show and can't show, so playing it safe here. But there we go. We still got a little bit right there. Just kind of take your finger and work that out. I assume that's a bloodline. I'm not exactly sure what the proper term is for that, but I know it's pretty much gross looking. And it looks like blood. It's pretty much coagulated blood when it comes out. So always get that out. So we got a good little fillet. Well, not a fillet, but a little whole fish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score it a little bit. Just take a couple slices down without cutting my hand. Down on both sides. Cut this water off. I'm just gonna score it down both sides. Now let pretty much all the spices and stuff get in there in the flavor. So probably went a little bit deep. <clears throat> pretty much just want to break the skin so flavor gets in the meat so uh, get ready to cook it up all right so we're going to cook this thing up quick and easy so i've got my cast iron pan here i'll put it on right between medium and medium high and i'm going to take about a teaspoon of butter and a little bit of olive oil about a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm just gonna let that melt down and I'm gonna go ahead and get my fish seasoned up. All right, so to season this thing up, all I'm gonna do is take some lemon pepper seasoning. Yeah. I don't wanna come out too good, but I'm gonna give it a healthy coating on both sides. It's hard to beat lemon pepper. I used to love this stuff when I was younger. But I haven't had it in Quite a while. I don't even remember the last time I made anything with lemon pepper, but it's just great for fish. That is for sure. Let's give it, I wish this stuff would come out a little bit better, but let's give it a good coating on both sides. Good, healthy coating. Come on. There we go. That's looking about right. So. Alright, so now my butter and oil is heating up. I'm going to set this to the side. Whenever this heats up, I'm going to kind of keep this swirling around the pan. Keep it melting evenly. So, as soon as that gets heated up, we're going to put the fish in. Alright, I think she's ready. I'm going to slide that in there. And we're going to let it cook for about three or four minutes on each side. All right, yeah, I think it's smelling good. So, I've really been wanting to get out and do some fishing. I know anybody that's watched any of my other videos, I've done a lot of hunting and cooking and tinkering, but I haven't had any fishing videos yet. So it's winter time here in North Carolina and I'm just not a big cold person. So it's just, I don't know, something in me just don't want to go to the lake when it's 30 and 40 degrees, but I'm gonna try try to get out maybe in the next month or so and 
try to catch some wintertime crappie, but we'll see how it goes. But glad to at least get a little fishing video in there. All right, I think she's about ready to flip. And that's looking good. Smells awesome. We're gonna go back tomorrow and I'm gonna try to get there right at sunrise. So I know in the past years the trout have definitely did a lot better in the mornings and afternoons they just kind of seem to pretty much shut down but I don't know. They just stocked the pond I think it was Tuesday from what I heard. So they're probably still getting acclimated a little bit, but I know they've been killing them from talking to the people over there. They've been fishing this week, but unfortunately I was working out of town, so we didn't get to go over there, but we'll see what we can do in the morning. All right, I think she's about ready to eat. I'm looking good. Oh, man. Some good looking stuff. I'm gonna let it cool down just a minute and then we'll try it out. Actually, I did do some fishing this week. We were down near, uh, working down in Swansboro. And we tried, we heard the speckled trout down there were biting like crazy. And we were fishing down around some boat ramps and we didn't take a boat or kayaks or anything. So of course we couldn't get to where they were biting. But we saw some guys coming in with some really nice ones, three, four pounds. So, man, this thing looks good. And real quick and easy to cook. It really doesn't take long at all. So, when I get this cooled down, we're going to give it a try. Alright. Yeah, that looks good. Hmm. Man, that is some good stuff. Nice and flaky. Hmm. Gotta love the old lemon pepper. It's hard to beat trout or catfish with some lemon pepper. One of my favorites for sure. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to go in the morning and try to catch a few more. And if I do, I'm gonna probably try a little few different ways. Might do some fry some lemon and pepper or something. But I'll think about it tonight. Hmm. Hopefully in the morning we'll have a little better luck. I'll try to get some on video and do another catch, clean, and cook maybe. So, anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, here in the next month or so, I'm going to really try to do a lot more fishing videos. During hunting season, that's pretty much about all I want to do is go hunting. And between that and working on stuff, I don't really have a lot of time to fish. And in the cold weather months, I just it's hard for me to get out in the lake and freeze to death. So... But keep watching, and I'll have a bunch more fishing videos, hopefully. So thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe. Man, that's good. And that trout turned out good. But on another note, uh, one thing, I don't know if I have to look back at the video whenever I edit it, but I don't know if you can tell, but uh, the rod I caught it on was one I built. And I don't know how into rod building people are, so that's one thing, probably one of my favorite things to do is build rods. So... It's kind of just something I've been piddling around with for a couple of years. I'm no professional. I don't build rods for people or anything. But if you'd like to see some of those videos, leave me a comment and let me know. And I'll try to do some for you. Thanks again for watching. And please subscribe.